James Charles came out with a song last night. Yeah, you heard me, and it wasn't the Sylvie song he's known for. Bring me a little water, Sylvie. I'm talking about a real song of his own. I don't think I can play any more in fear of copyright since he did put this song on streaming platforms, but it has just been one strange story after another this week, and honestly, they just keep continuing. We're going to be talking about James and a few other stories today that also had me like, wait, what the this week? Like Bobby Altoff's divorce and Jacob Elordi being accused of grabbing a radio host by the throat during an altercation. I mean, what a week, truly. Let's talk about this Bobby Altoff story because this one really surprised me and also had the internet in such a frenzy. If you remember, Bobby went viral last summer after releasing a podcast episode with Drake. Everyone was really shook to see that she got him as a guest and she basically blew up overnight. Well, this week it came out that her husband had filed for divorce, listing their date of separation as sometime in July of 2023, which was when her episode with Drake came out. People were speculating if Drake was the true cause of her separation, just based on the fact that during that time, things got kind of weird after she went to Drake's concert. They ended up unfollowing each other and she deleted their podcast episode. People wondered for so long what actually went down and so now that the divorce news was coming out people were speculating a ton and Bobby's team is actually denying that Drake had anything to do with her divorce and according to TMZ they reported that the reason that the two of them had a falling out was because Drake invited her to his concert and he offered her general admission tickets instead of putting her in VIP with his other friends which she did not like this led to them having that falling out on following each other and that whole mess but recently she did do an interview on kiki palmer's podcast and said that they actually spoke recently so it seems like they have been able to move past things and she did credit him for changing the trajectory of her career. Now, as for Jacob Elordi, this story is also crazy. I can't believe that this is something that happened and that someone also wanted to admit to this. Basically, Jacob was in Sydney ahead of an award show. Little did he know that he would later have his hands on a radio host's throat during this trip. But radio host Joshua Fox told the story of what happened on the Kyle and Jackie O show admitting that he heard Jacob was in town and tracked him down, approached him, and admitted that Jacob did seem friendly at first. That was until he handed him a jar with a label that said Jacob Elordi's bath water, and he asked him to fill the container and return it to him as a gift for his radio co-host. The bathwater is in reference to his movie Saltburn, in which there is a special scene, I'll say, involving his bathwater. And Josh was filming this entire interaction, and he said that this is where things took a turn because Jacob did not think that this was funny. Jacob asked him to stop filming, and he wanted him to delete the footage, and Josh did not want to delete the footage. And this is when Jacob allegedly flipped out, and he alleges that he pushed him against the wall and put his hands on his throat. The internet has been reacting to the situation, saying that it's been a long time coming that the radio hosts of this show were facing some sort of repercussions for the things that they say and do, claiming that they have a history of not being the best, and stating that this guy was willing to admit that he tracked down Jacob for all of this. People were coming for him even harder in this case, not feeling bad for him. It truly was such a mess. Obviously, maybe not the best way to handle a situation by grabbing someone by the neck, but this whole thing was just wild now in terms of james charles you guys he did end up putting out a song and i can't believe it the song came out and james did not say anything like at all and people thought that that was so weird i think it was all a marketing tactic because he wanted the song to go viral before he said anything for other reasons which we'll get into but he since said something about it posting on instagram surprise my first ever song call me back is now streaming on all platforms the song is all about learning how to find closure within getting ghosted something i struggled with for a long time i've been keeping this secret for more than a year now i hope you hear how much this project means to me and i hope you love it as much as i do talk soon Basically, the song was released, and the first person to use the sound on TikTok was this guy, Noah Davis. He said, why did James Charles release this song, and why is it good? It started getting a ton of views as more people were posting similar TikToks, saying that they couldn't believe that James Charles put this song out. What do you mean this is James Charles? But then people noticed something weird, that... 
the original guy that posted the TikTok was actually part of the song. His name is Noah Davis, and he is in the credits as a writer for James's song. And I also noticed that it looks like he's literally at James's house when he filmed that. And tons of people were like, why would you post this? Like, it's weird because you know about the song. You're like acting like you didn't know about it. But it seemed to be James's plan all along that he would invite people to his house and also people that worked on the song with him. And they would post on TikTok before he did about the song. And this whole thing tells me that they wanted the song to go viral, banking on people being shocked to hear that this was a James Charles song and shocked to hear that he doesn't sound like the worst singer ever. And this whole thing is reminding me of when Gail put out the ABC song. If you guys are on TikTok, you probably know the song that I'm talking about, the a, B, C, D, E, F, U, and your sister and your mom, like that song. She opened for Taylor Swift, like she went viral. She, she did for this ABC song. A little prior to her putting this song out though, she posted a TikTok that said she needed help coming up with ideas for her next song. She's got like writer's block and she just needed ideas. And someone commented on that TikTok and said, you should write a breakup song using the alphabet. And she replied to this comment and her next TikTok was her singing the ABCD song. And it blew up. It went totally viral. People thought that it was so organic, that it was crazy that she just, you know, came up with the song on the fly based off of a comment. But it was all a plan, you guys. It was all a plan because the person that left that first comment saying you should write a breakup song about the alphabet was said to have worked in marketing and was purposely leaving that comment because the song was already made and her team was trying to find a way to promote it. And this was her team's way of promoting it by making everything look organic here. So I think that's exactly what James is trying to do, play on the fact that people don't like him and also would be shocked to hear him sing this song. And it seems like he recruited fans of his to help him do this whole thing, which explains why over the last couple of weeks, he's been asking his fans who live in LA to message him, which when he was asking around for people that live in LA, he did get called out. Ethan Klein reposted his story that said, hi, remember when I posted looking for people in LA that have been supporting me for a long time? Can y'all please slide in again? And he said, everyone in LA, please check on your younger brothers. James's friend Alexis Oakley posted from the event, even sharing this of him singing the song live for everybody. And when this was all going on last night, I was just like, this is so, like, he's not posting about it. What is going on? Like, what's the plan here? Did he get up on the mic and he was like, okay, you comment this, you post this, caption your post that, like, <laughs> what was going on here? I do think, though, that it was the best way to get people to listen, though, because if he just said that he put a song out, I don't think anyone would really be like running, but kind of playing into the fact that people don't like him and that they would be shocked by this. I think he did get a couple more listens. At the time when James was asking people to message him if they lived in LA to potentially get invited to whatever he was putting on, which now we know to be this little song release party, he did post reflecting on his career, but obviously not making any mentions of anything bad or this song or anything like that he said actually so emotional reading all of my story replies right now clicking on some of your messages and seeing dms going back six years is actually so insane i know my journey has been a roller coaster so i appreciate every single person on the ride even if you just got on but on the rare occasion when get to find the supporters that have literally never gotten off the ride it's truly the biggest blessing in the world when it's all just numbers on a screen sometimes i forget how many people are actually there watching and supporting even if it's in silence i'm trying to get better about stopping to remind myself of that i'm so grateful and i appreciate all of you so much whether you're in la or antarctica i wish i could tell you why i'm looking for people in la but i promise you'll know very soon love you i certainly never could have guessed that this is why he was asking for LA fans to message him. And I don't know what this means for the future. Like, is he trying to do music now? Is he trying to put out like an album, you guys? I do not know. This is just so random and so crazy, but I certainly want to know what you guys think about this whole thing and how he's trying to go about marketing this song. Let me know all of your thoughts on this and everything else we talked about today, because it's just some crazy stuff. And this week has just been wild. So let me know in the comments. I love you guys so much. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.